It is often said that those who never travel the world never actually leave. Now, today on the show, we're going to be exploring how you can meet your travel goals using a budget. And today we're joined by someone who is an avid traveler, very passionate about tra traveling and helping you meet your travel goals. She's the founder, CEO of Travel Culture, a company that helps millennials meet their travel goals. And she's also the host of a radio travel show in Port Harcourt as well as in Lagos. Today we are joined by Dianga Uko. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you. It's good to be here. Nice good to, to have you. you. Thank you. Nice a few Alex. years ago, um, Eddie Anga, it wasn't a big deal for mm -hmm. people to have travel companies. You know, yeah. back in the day, if you wanted to travel, you just prayed you have a lot of money and mm -hmm. you just find your way around. But now it's becoming a thing. Everybody has a different story of why they started. Yeah. Why did you start? Okay, so I first did this road trip from Port Harcourt. I was going on youth service. I was going from Port Harcourt to Ogun State. And I remember on that trip, that was the first time I was doing a long road trip. I was just really fascinated. I was sitting down by the window and I know the guy that was sitting down beside me was just wondering, why is this girl so fascinated? I just kept saying, wow, wow. So by the time I got into the West, I could see the rock formations and all of that. It just really got me excited. And I just said, um, I had just graduated from school mathematics and statistics i was asking myself what am i going to do with this course this was not my passion what was your passion um i think prior to that i hadn't even really discovered what i wanted to do so that trip was a defining moment for me and then i went on to serve at the border town which is Ijiroko. so that gave me the opportunity to get into places like Benin republic togo ghana and from that moment i just knew this is what i wanted to do and how would you say, you know, tourism in Nigeria is we're starting to see a lot of travel companies bringing up. Would you say that mm -hmm. people are now more interested in traveling than they used to be? Uh, yes, I would. But not just about traveling, but getting good experiences when they travel. So it's not just about getting enough money and then buying your tickets and heading off somewhere. But what are you going to do in those places? What kind of experiences do you want to have? Are you an adventure lover? If you love adventure, where would you go to? So you're seeing that more companies are are trying to build experiences for people based on what they really want and what their needs are, what their personality speaks to. So, for instance, I'll say, oh, Oli, what kind of person are you? What do you like? Adventure. Good. So probably <laughs> I'll send you to South Africa and say, go do zip lining, bungee jump off the bridge, you know, something like that. So companies are now trying to create more experiences that, um, that, the, that the users really, really appreciate. Okay, interesting. Now mm -hmm. let's go into the details of traveling itself. Mm -hmm. We know that there are certain countries that when you want to travel to them, you mm -hmm. need a travel history. It's very yeah. important. Okay. So for those who are who are looking to build their travel history, what would be some of the tips that you give them? Where are the countries that they can travel to without a visa? Um, countries you can travel to without a visa. I'd say if you want to start, first you could start within West Africa. You don't need a visa to visit any of the countries in West Africa. Then if you feel like you have done West Africa, you've done your Ghana, you've probably done your Bene, your Togo, and you want to step out a bit, you could do places like Mauritius, is visa on arrival. You could do there are a couple of other countries, Lebanon as well. So once I pay my flight fare, mm -hmm. all I need to do is, like they're not going to ask me questions when I pay my flight fare, I pay for my visa on arrival. Yes, you do, but they'll just be sure that you have some money on you for daily expenses. They want to be sure you have that money, your hotel reservations have been done, and you have an onward return ticket. You don't just have a one-way ticket to the country. You have a return ticket back home, and then your hotel is done, your tours are sorted, and then you have your daily spending allowance. All right, we'll still come back you know, to talk about countries that you can go alone and enjoy, because I mm -hmm. find that so, lots of people say Mauritius mm -hmm. and um, Morocco and certain other, okay, maybe not Morocco, no Mauritius Morocco. and Seychelles are yeah, countries Seychelles, that you go yeah. for honeymoon. Yes. And if you go alone, you might not really yeah, uh, maximize true. it as much. But let's talk about some of your travel tips. So for mm -hmm. someone who is trying, who has travel goals, this is me. Some mm -hmm. of us have not left the country since January because you're, you're stuffed in work. Yeah. Some, some people are thinking, oh, the money, you know, you're waiting until you have a lump sum yeah. to be able to travel. What are some of the tips you'd give us to be able to meet our travel goals via budget? Okay, so first of all, you'd, you want to tell yourself that Traveling is not just, you're not just spending money, it's not a waste. So you need, to, you need to make it part of your learning process. So if I say that every year I want to visit a destination and that way I'm expanding my horizon, then that's a good place to start. Then secondly, you want to talk to a travel company and say, do you have payment options? Can I pay in installments? And guess what? A lot of us are accepting installment payments. A lot of us are saying do a deposit of, say, 100,000 naira. This package, the cost is 500 and something thousand. Do a deposit of 100,000 and spread the balance out. Just so, like those who buy cars in bits. Yeah, so, so you okay. don't really have any excuse. Some of us have released packages for December already. 
and you can pay if you started paying from May at 80,000 every month, you would have paid up for a December package or even for August, you could still break it down. So I would say find a company that allows you to pay in installments that works for you. And then if you do the bookings early, it saves you a lot of money as well. So do not wait till the last minute. Another thing that um, discourages people from traveling is when they just wait to the last minute and say, I want to travel now, and then boom, you get a quote, and it is triple the price, as opposed to if you had planned that trip. So the best times to travel would be people who say, I want to go for summer. But again, you could also look at off-peak periods. Don't always go when the crowd is going. So that's another tip. You can say, I want to go during the off-peak period when, when probably children are still in school, um, it's not summer, it's so not let's school. Say like holiday. March. Yeah, you can go like March. You can also go like October. So those are good times to travel. When the schools come back in and everybody's in school, children are in school, it's a good time to travel. It's not a holiday. It's also a good time to travel. And then those, some of those cities are not so crowded. You can have your time. You can really, really enjoy the experiences. Okay, um, before we wrap up this conversation, what are some of the most common mistakes that first time travelers make or travelers in general make? Um, a lot of times I feel that people lie, especially if they want to travel first time and they want to apply for visas. You see that they say, oh, you need to build your travel history. And then sometimes people go and lie about where they have not been to. That is one thing they do. So when you want to travel, if you need to get visas for some of these destinations, please be very, very honest. And then talk to a travel company, get your planning right. Get every detail right and find out what they are offering you. Don't just pack your bags and leave. Make sure that you have transfers there. Look at your Google map and then see the distances between places and say, okay, if I stay in this hotel, what am I going to this country to do? For instance, if I'm going to Dubai and I want to shop, you want to stay close to a shopping mall. So you need to get all those planning right. Do your planning way ahead of time. Don't, don't just wake up one morning and say you want to head off somewhere. And with these few words of ours, we hope we've been able to convince and not confuse you that it's possible, very possible, for you to achieve your travel dreams. Thank you for joining us. Thank on the you, Thank Now, you. we're hoping that after this interview, you'll be spurred to go back and revisit your travel plans and explore from Africa to the world. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.